hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today is a very very special day hmm? today we're going to be talking about chess uh i know you're asking like what, what what about chess well um today i'm going to be explaining the concept of chess when it was formed and everything you need to know about the history of chess and the evolution of chess as well um i, I know maybe as a chess beginner you want to, to like you, you, you want to know the reason why you are learning the game the, the benefit of chess to you just don't want to enter into a game and begin to play right yeah so today i'm going to be explaining the concept of chess i'm going to be explaining the the meaning of chess like what is chess all about when was it formed who created chess who invented chess uh how did it move from where it was to how it is now right so stick around i am going to go in right away and also featuring today's video is going to be a game played by kasparov and deep blue deep blue is not the name of um of somebody deep blue is the name of um, a chess engine yeah in 1997 i hope i got that correctly in 1997 uh bill gates and microsoft they made a chess engine and then they named it deep blue so that was when chess was really recognized in the world i'm not going to give you don't worry i'm not going to give you let, let me even tip you hmm? watch this video and you will learn more about it so yes you're going to learn about chess i'm going to learn everything that you need to know to start out with chess this video um, begins a series for beginners like after this video i'm going to post videos on you know the movements of the pieces the the um, uses of each pieces i'm going to post the basics of chess the principles of the end games and you're going to learn a lot so please um stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't you're going to enjoy the videos i promise you i'm not even going to ask you to like if you don't if you, if you like it but i like it because you will enjoy it you, you understand yeah okay so without further ado i'm going to go into the video so yeah what is chess let me ask you first of all just take take one take one minute and pause the video and think about it what, what do you think chess is i'm going to give you one minute as i stare in the sky okay yeah done <laughs> okay um well chess chess before i i had to research actually to to post this video so um before i researched i i, I was like but emmanuel or Pegati, calm down and I, I defined chess as a um game a strategic game board game where two players sit with white and black pieces anyone can have any of the pieces and then they attack they like have a war of the mind and then the one with the best state of mind or the one with the best or and most most brilliant mind wins that's how i defined chess but when i went online well what i had in my mind and what i had online it's not, it's not really different um I, I went to chat gpt of course of course i have to go there to learn some things yeah and i, and I asked it i was like hey chat what is chess chat said chess is a strategic board game that is played between two players on a square board divided into 64 squares of alternating colors usually black and white each player begins with the game with 16 pieces one king one queen two rooks two knights two bishops and eight pawns the objective of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king which means placing the king in a position where it is under attack and cannot escape capture yeah so this is typically or basically my explanation now she just a chargpt of course it's expanded and broadened it so yeah chess is a board game uh let me not make this video too long yeah so the history of chess okay chess was formed in gupta in uh, an empire called gupta i i hope i'm pronouncing this well uh, yeah i think the empire is in india it was in india uh it's it, it it was formed in the 19 no in the sixth century these numbers are very hard for me to to grab so if please if you don't if just bear with me okay so it was formed in the sixth century actually from what i saw and i and i studied they said they said though it's not big it's not me that said it's not big guys that said i'm just telling you from i'm just giving you information from what i have read right uh i'm going to also paste links to 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 those to the to the to the places that i got them you grab yeah so um gupta where uh, that was where i was i was in gupta not literally but i was there so yeah chess was formed in gupta the youngest prince right the youngest prince in 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 the gupta empire 
he died hmm? so sad so his brother wanted to explain how he died and then he made he did, he explained it on the board they call it ashaf ashafata i've forgotten the name but it's something like that i'll write it <laughs> you probably it on the screen he used he used it to show his mom sorry he 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 used it he used it to show the queen of the land like how the son how her son died so he made he made it and then from there the um the chaturanga that's what they call um they call the they call this before chaturanga which means four divisions right so they call it chaturanga and then after then it, it moved to persia and then there was this um islamic conquest in persia so it was introduced to the arabs and then the arabs took it and and then because of their influence um it moved to other parts of the world okay in 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 persia was was where it got his um name current name chess chess means king chess was derived from from a word sorry which uh, shah which means king and shamat which means the king has been conquered or the king is helpless yeah so that was um that's basically how chess moved from from um explaining a, a game a, a scenario to the mother and then to turn it into a game and then to moving it to persia and then the the islamic people they, they took it around the world chaturanga based on what i've read though chaturanga spread out into shogi go and chess so for shogi it's similar to chess but then in 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 in, in shogi i think the, the move the move pieces are the, the movement of the pieces are different and then in shogi if i capture my opponent's piece i am i can be able to um i can be able to use the captured piece to play in the game it's like crazy house chess if you play on leeches I, I don't know if it's on chess.com but i know on leeches there's crazy house chess so that's how shogi was is yeah and then go go i go always ha ah, go is go makes my mind go go crazy because like the board is very big i think it's on, on a 10 by 11 board and i think it's japanese yes and then shogi is chinese so go is like played um go go is i, I don't know how go is played but i know that go is go is not go, go is really played it's really for people that have sense i somehow think go is more complicated than chess if you think i'm if you think i'm if you think i'm saying the wrong thing tell me tell me in the comment section down below yes so and then chess was formed yeah uh it went to france and then the, I, I heard that they banned it for a while i don't know why and then it came back and then yeah so it was the russians that took it serious the soviet union eh? those guys they dedicated their time and their life they studied the game of chess even in, like i had um during the winter season when school they are always indoors they are playing games and playing games and then and then the game of chess became very very uh reputable in 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 russia and people began to play chess very well and then yeah i don't want to give you too much to read because it's, it's already time for me to explain this video Yes, 10 minutes should be enough for me to explain but okay let me just conclude yeah so it went to russia russians they, they really held it very well like they, they played it very well and they dominated the game right even though france was still up on it because fide is, is a france uh federation of it's from france fide is from france even though it's a federation of chess as is known uh around the world but it's also from france fide f-i-d-e so after all of these things in 1996 bill gates and microsoft they formed i mean they invented a hs engine and the name was deep blue bah? so that's why i seen deep blue on your screen deep blue is not the name of somebody <laughs> deep blue is the name of a uh, hs engine a hs computer so in 1996 they invented the chess uh engine and then they made it play against the world champions at then which was gary kasparov who was a russian so in 1996 gary kasparov played um 
played uh, deep blue and won deep blue like i don't know the score but i know it's it's one deep blue uh, sorry I, I i i don't know the score but i know that gary kasparov won deep blue and then bill gates vexed though he vexed in 1997 the you know modified no technology it always modifying itself i believe people are modifying it. so deep blue was modified and then they called kasparov again say come and play say you beat the blue come and play the blue again and then Kari kasparov ac accepted to play the blue and then Gary kasparov won no the first game was won by Kasparov, I think, and then the second game was won by Deep Blue. Third game was won by Kasparov. Well, sorry, the third game was drawn. Fourth game was drawn. I'm carried away. And then I think the fifth game was also drawn. And then this was the sixth game. The game finished three and a half to two and a half. I didn't do my research very well. So it finished three and a half to two and a half. With Deep Blue won the last game. So this is the last game. I said to judge, I can't show you all of the games unless if you want me, if you want me to show you all of the games, tell me in the description box down below, and I'll show you all of the games. You know, you are my people, so democracy. Okay, let me know, let me know, David, <laughs> let me know the real. Yeah, so this is the game that was played between Gary Kasparov and Deep Blue, the last game that was played. I really I really like this game because it, the Karokan was played, which is my opening, even though it was trashed, almost it was trashed too. So I'm going to get, take you through the game and give you the analysis of the game. My analysis, I'm going to comment it. I'm going to be a commentator for today. So the game started with E4, C6, D4. This is the normal typical Karukan. This is Karukan. Karukan is now after C6. After, after sorry, after E4, and you play C6. That's Karukan. Just so you know, if you play, if I play D5, D, um, D3, and you play C6, it's not Karukan, no. It's not Karukan. So Karukan only appears only is only after E4. It's only after E4 and then C6. So we are continuing now. E4, C6, D4. And then c5 and then d5 this is car this is typical karukan so knight to c3 was played this is the classical variation of the karukan i am i remain a commentator for the game knight to c3 was played yeah uh, the pawn captured knight takes on e4 now this move is the first key move of the game what what what, what is this like I know it's an opening from a variation, probably the Kapov variation. I don't know if, yeah, it's from the Kapov variation, I think. But like, why will you play knight to d7? Why? So knight to d7 was played. Knight to d7 does a lot of bad things. First of all, you are blocking your bishop from going out. In Karukan, you want to bring out your bishop and then play e6. I mean, that's why you are playing Karukan. But like, if Levi says this, is going to be very mad. <laughs> I mean, Gotham Chess. So um knight to d7 was played. It's this 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 is okay. The reason why why this is played is so that knight to f6 after you capture you capture back with the knight and then the knight is uh you get knight is developed and then there's no other developed piece. But don't forget that white has a tempo up. So after knight to d7 God I don't blame them. It was played in 1997. They were still thinking. So, uh, knight to g5. This move. <laughs> what I think about this move, bar. Uh, this move violates a lot of chess principles. First of all, you are moving. Your, you have moved your knights from here to here to here. That's three moves in the open. You have not even touched any of your any minor pieces. Please, if you are a beginner and you are watching this video, please don't move your pieces more than twice in the opening try to play openings that will make you develop your pieces as much as possible okay so knight this move i don't really like this move this is an inaccurate move i would say but yeah it's not very bad like that so like there are moves that can h6 just chases you back home i mean yeah 
so let's continue knights to g knights g to f6 was played bishop to you know just developing bishop to d3 now e6 well e6 ah I mean, me i would prefer him to play knight to b6 and then bring out your bishop before you play e6 but then he played e6 first so you know this bishop is going to have a hard time developing in mostly in the french and in the karukan openings the bishop the white bishop really has a hard time like developing so i don't really like e6 now but yeah i mean who am i to to, to say anything against kasparov so e6 was played knight to f3 developing the knight now h3 okay you know earlier i said i should have played like h3 can be played uh well in this position h3 is not very h3 is not a good move right i'll show you you see okay no no in fact before you see let me let me ask you what move do you think should be played in this position like to and you will probably be losing a piece but like you're gaining activity you, you make the king to be running around so which move do you think should be played by white i'm going to give you like one minute oh no 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 like 10 seconds so i i look at the sky there's no sky is the roof okay so this is the move deep blue played the move knight takes on e6 now if you take with the pawn bishop moves to g6 check king moves up well let me just show you take with the pawn bishop moves here king up and then this king doesn't have any this king is, bishop is going to move to f5 f4 there's nothing you can do about it you cannot bring your knight here because the bishop is going to take the knight right you cannot what well, you cannot do the, see every, everybody is just compressing Look, who wants to play in this position even the computer is saying plus 0 0.9 so like this is a very bad position for for black so what kasparov did in this position was he played after knights captured kasparov played queen to e7 so he uh it, it's not it, it doesn't help the position really like this this uh, this move is it doesn't do anything because black will just white is just castle and then the queen cannot capture again okay let me see if 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 um white castles and the queen captures this is this is bad because you have this and then where do you want to, the queen cannot go anywhere you have to capture you must capture and then this is just very bad very very bad you have a queen up you have more developed pieces you have castle already you are going to bring out your bishop and then black is just looking like a moron so yeah queen e7 was played it um deep blue castled for sure after after queen e7 was played deep blue castled and then black knew that he could not capture the knight with his queen at this point and then black captured with the pawn pawn takes on e6 and then last last bishop was played then king to d8 was played so i think what black wanted to achieve in this position was black wanted the queen to be in on e7 not the king if you look at the previous line that i played after the next captures um after these captures and bishop to g6 you see the king and the queen they are interchanged right but in this after this position yeah now it's the now the, the queen is on e7 so i think that was what casper wanted to achieve and he achieved it but he, this pressure is not very good for him so yeah we continue bishop you see bishop played to f5 now imagine this this is very very common the queen does the king has no square to move and this is just the 11th move kasparov was really <laughs> going through hell in this position so bishop to f5 was f4 was played um c b5 was played I, I, i'm guessing black wanted to bring out the bishop and then he was taking more squares on the in the position right so a5 a4 was played attacking the pawn on b5 bishop to b7 was played tell, telling white if like capture that, that one is your problem right so the rook came out come on this is this position is good for even if i'm playing carlton i will win this position i'm just imagining don't mind me 
Yeah, so rook to e1 was played. Knight to d5 was played, attacking the, pawn, the bishop on f4. Bishop retreated back to g3. King, wait, 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 wait. Why, why did the king move? What, what is this move? What does this move do? Anyway, shall king to c8. Um, pawn takes on b5. Pawn takes on b5. Queen to d3, attacking the pawn. And bishop to c6. Now, this is also another key move. Bishop to c6 is not very good. If you look at the position very well, the diagram masters, they are supposed to understand the position. Right? Bishop to c6 allows bishop to f5. And then this pawn is, like this pawn is, is a very big weakness in the position. Bishop to c6, this bishop is not defended, don't forget. So, if the rook comes to this position, the bishop is going to be very, very under attack. So bishop to b6, to c6 was not the move. The move that was supposed to be played was knight to b6, knight to c7. And then even after this happens, black just plays this and then everywhere good. But black refuse, oh. black refuse. Black played bishop to, black played bishop to c6, which this, this was the losing move for the game. So I've already told you what I wanted to ask you to pause again and but since you've already seen Isha. White split bishop to f five. Now black has to capture and then allow white to capture the queen. Right? I know you might be thinking what of other moves. What which move are you thinking about? Tell me. Are you thinking about this? This is very bad. Like the rook can capture, the bishop can capture, the rook captures what do you want to play? You want to escape your queen? You want to go here? This is check. This is very bad. The, it's even almost checkmate because the king doesn't have any of these squares. The queen has to block. The king, the rook is going to pick. I mean, the king, okay, the king can move to the square shah. And then the queen picks. Like, you see? So, like, you, you have to, there's no move. Check your computer. There's no, there's no move. This, this is, the queen has to die. So the queen was picked. The rook was picked. The, sorry, the what am I saying? Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, the bishop was picked. The queen was picked. The rook was picked, and then white ended the game by playing. I know you are looking for the checkmate. There's no checkmate. White played c4 and black resigned. Like the game was, it's just too boring. I don't know why Kasparov resigned in this position, Sha. But I mean, he doesn't have a queen against the blue. He already, by, by now, he has already played more than one game with the blue. Kasparov had played like 12 games. This was the 12th game with the blue. And the game ended with three and a half, two and a half with the blue winning. So you see, this is how chess, and this is when, after this game, after the blue won Kasparov, that was when grandmasters began to use um, chess engines, you know, to uh, to analyze their games, to study their games so they can be more perfect. You grab. So, thank you very much for watching my video. I'm very excited. I'm very glad that you watched this video. And I didn't give you. I might not have. I might not have given you like a lot of information about the opening of chess, the history of chess and the evolution of chess, but I know that I've given you at least, you know, some things. And by the way, you see this bishop, the bishop on the board. Let me show you. Let me show you the bishop. This bishop, these bishops, they were, they were elephants before I'm telling you they were elephants. I don't know how, why they made them to be elephants. And then the queen, the queen was the legal advisor to the king. Then they, before they changed to the queen, I don't know. As well, as well. So this is how the game of Kasparov and the Deep Blue went to. Telling you, Kasparov resigned after I think 19 moves. Yeah, 19 moves. That was very very disastrous for the world champion. So um, we have come to the end of this video. If you liked, okay, now I'm going to. I know you liked the video. Please just um, like put give me a like at the bottom, and then um. I will continue with this series. I will um, post videos on chess for beginners. 
right i'll post about the adv um, the um the basics of chess end game principles you know middle game principles techniques tra and tactics and uh, opening theories opening opening traps so that you understand more about chess thank you very much for watching my video i really look forward to seeing you in my next video if you have any comments please do have to comment down below yeah I, I forgot to actually mention the benefits of chess to chess players if you want to know about the benefits of chess please do well to watch the next video i will talk about the benefits of chess and then i talk about the contents the main content so thank you very much once again for watching my chess video this is over 20 minutes of chess time so yeah uh, I, I don't want to make you to not like my video because it's too long <laughs> thank you for watching my video i'll see you i'll see you in the next video bye what do you really think chess is before you even yeah so I, I i wrote it down somewhere and i found out that i that chess is fun to me how how i put it before i researched